Hello everybody, today is Monday the 27th of November and I want to make some cards because I was diamond painting and now the upper part of my arm hurts so I, I can barely move my fingers up and therefore cannot diamond paint and also I cannot do nothing so I'm trying, I have some tech techs I can use like I have a mechanical, electronical die cutting machine. I have a brother's scanning cut. And as I cannot ink blend, I want to foil the background because I cannot do nothing. Um, for the last five years, I've had to stay frantically busy because I cannot stand silence uh, or doing nothing. It It's not good. It gets very bad then. I had one or two day, days about a month ago for the first time in those last five years that I had silence. I was still working on something but it worked without having an input. Normally when I don't have an input the um, thoughts start and they start going in a round and I cannot stop them so it's um, it's not healthy it's very bad. It's not normal uh, as long as I have input it gets better. I've had a episode of something <laughs> a while ago so that's still going on a bit and um, when I have input and stuffs that is not happening or less so I am a bit worried because I need to stay busy and um, that's why I'm figuring out those things I can show you what I have also I have new products also it is older product also have it for a year or something haven't used it yet and I have some ideas what I want to do with it. Uh, it's also a shower day. I do hope it gets better. I'm, I've had my, my um, I always call it poignet, it's a French word, uh, my wrist um, band-aid on, not band -aid, wrist thingy and also my elbow thingy. So I have my arm like this tonight and just it helps me not use my hand. Um, uh, coloring might be bad anything might be bad but I need to do something so <laughs> I'll show you what I have for one thing there you see my die cutting machine which I got last year because I had shoulder problems and my body is, uh, is a wreck there's my hot foil plate Th those are the things I was wearing that's for the wrist and that's for the elbow stiffening and here I already stamped some out yesterday. Those are older stamps from Lawn Fawn, but I have them quite new. Um, and I wanted to make a Tada diorama with those in the front. And then it pops up and maybe has one or two more. I wanted it to have to have it in the thingy, but you could not put that on a layer. Where's the layer? Those are the layers because it wouldn't close them anymore. You could have it on the background panel. Or in the foreground but not on those in the middle which need to have a, a smaller item on it or the card won't close then i have others here i have uh, the ugly jumper thingy also from lawn fawn from last year there's thingy uh and my cousin this they do wear ugly jumpers so i want to make the christmas card for my cousin with the reveal wheel which just spins the sentiments and have snowflakes embossed on it. And there's another pile. And okay. <laughs> Dilly, hoi, hoi, hoi. I'm fine. Yeah. Hoi. Oh, I'm muesli. I said, oh, I said, Dilly. I said, Dilly. Hoi. Yeah. And she starts waking me again today, last night, and the night before with her very, very sharp claws in my face. Yeah. I'm so fine. I guess you hear her. Okay. So I cut out some things with my machine, which is quite loud. Now it's mittags pause, lunchtime break. It was all right. The worst <laughs> is going to the toilet. I cannot wipe with my left hand and this angle is very I'm bad. not sure if I post that. <laughs> and uh, this is why my hand is wrecked. Um, even though it wasn't that extreme, so I have half of it done. And then I did that yesterday. 
and then I had to stop. <laughs> and I well, I googled it before I had troubles with my ulnaris nerve and the carpal carpal tunnel, and this is now the nerve radialis or whatever it's called. It's um, from the other bone, so it really goes on top of here to the fingers and the elbow, and the other one was down here. So never had that. <laughs> And I did want to make cards, and now I really have to stop diamond painting. I just find it annoying. I, I wanted to make cards, didn't work. So I worked on diamond paintings because I don't have to think. It's very easy to do. And now I lose my thought thingy. And now that I have to make a card because I cannot go on diamond painting, it kind of works. But I chose to make a card before and I couldn't. And now I'm forced to, and then, then it kind of works. There's some other stuff about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, nothing. I'm sorry. And this video is just, it's more like a card making vlog. And I guess it's going to go over a few episodes <laughs> because I also want to, I have about three or four cards I want to make. I don't know how efficient I am. So those are new from the, that was a spontaneous release from launch one I had to have it. Because I like, I like this drawer. <laughs> and um, this one was in there too. This is also for the reveal wheel. I don't know what to do yet. Because I think when you do this with the reveal wheel and this and that. They all look the same, the cards. So I want to do something different. <clears throat> I just had something to eat. <laughs> so. uh, and this is a stencil I have new. I love paws. And finally I have a nice, nice paw stamp, uh, stencil. And my mom loves birds, so I have this Marianne design. You can make those birdies. I took a while to get familiar with those pieces, so I want to do that too. Yeah, so I got a few cards and yeah, working on this. It's, yeah, it's messy. So I have colored my critters here. And I was careful and then I wanted to get up and <laughs> push my hand on the table and then I... I heard it again, but it was fine with coloring. And I'm here at my, I have my diamond paintings here. I need to hold it. I can show you later. Um, and now I have this here. Okay, it's gonna go into starting position. And I wanna scan. I wanna scan directly. So with a machine. And I have it on black and white, that's all right. You can either detect colors or black and white, but Lawn Fawn has very thick black lines. So I'm gonna do that. And now I have to get my mat in. Oh, and it holds. So this is my station here. It's on a nice height, it's quite high. Well, I hope there's enough space. Okay. And now I need to push start. See, I like this one. It's not that loud. If that goes with a with a Hoover, oh, it just works. Also, I think there's Tilly sleeping. Hi, Mosey. I don't know if you see her. I see her eyes glowing. <laughs> okay, let us scan it, and I go to OK. And now I need to reduce my window because all those cuts from the mat are on it. And I don't want to have to delete everything later on. But also it's a bit hard, so I'm going uh, to foreshadow, preview. Okay. And now uh, I need to work on it by Arbeiten. Edit. And now it shows me things and I want to delete that. Okay. All those small things. One could say... Ignore all those very small ones, but I don't know how that works. So I have to, for every mark, I have to push the buttons. And just, uh, I, want, I want my lamp, so I go forward. This I don't want either. Um, those I have not colored. I can delete that too. Or I could have, can I undo that? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I could have just cut it out. I know I put the sticker over it because I, I didn't stamp it nicely. Uh, this one I colored, so I want to keep that. This is again squiggly lines. 
and this is why I don't often do that. It takes some time to do that. Um, and sometimes one doesn't want to bother with that. That's better than cutting out right now. I want to keep those and pay attention. <laughs> I want to keep that one too. The rest. Okay. And keep. Delete. Keep. 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 Delete. Okay, now I've got all of them. I go to OK. And now I want to have a, um, a border around. So I go for one millimeter. And I don't cut that. Okay. I don't know if I could look at it. I couldn't look at it. I don't remember. How does that go? There's a way one to look at that. But, oh, there she comes. Hi! Out of her house tower. Hi! And now I need to choose if I want to pencil it, draw it, or cut it. I want to schneiden, which is cut. And then I do start, and it measures the thickness of the paper and everything. That is the loudest part, but then it's very quiet. Hi! Oh, the cat. And that's a big difference to the cricket. And if it's very thick paper, it will go over it twice, but this is not. So now here we go. Okay. And then I can get my mat out. It will lose the stand, but that's all right. And I'm going to the other table. I just took off some cello tape I had around the corners because I was... It, it is a sticky mat, but it doesn't stick as well anymore. Here, I got one over it. Uh, but it works fine when I just put the stuff over the edges and now I can take that off. Just wanted to show you that I put that there and now uh, it is thingy. A little, oh, sorry, a little spatula. And to see, oh, come on. Oh, there's another trick. When you bend it, I cannot do that one handed. So here we go. That is the border, one millimeter border. And now they're all cut out. And to speed up my injury, I am taking B12 vitamins. Also, I'm taking vitamins in general with the um, iron stuffs because I had a weird, weird leak. Weird, badly, cough. Uh, and uh, that helps with um, iron, eisen in German. And other vitamins, and I should have taken. I should take vitamins all the time because I don't have. I never have enough B twelve. I never have enough iron. Iron, but I'm so bad with taking stuff. But now I actually do. <laughs> also, B twelve is good for the brain. So I hope it gets better. And yeah, this is gonna be the vlog card making. Um, yeah, not not really card making, but I'm making cards just throughout the day and maybe I show you a step and maybe I don't it's more vlog so okay I'm going on with my card making a bit and I had to cut those out again I don't know if you have made this thingy do you see my mistake <laughs> this one's wrong I didn't have the smaller part of the foot po pointing towards um, the bigger page which made the one behind be lower than the one in the front and then it doesn't work out. Now I cut them out again and I have attached them in here. I'm going to fold them this way twice in the same direction. And this is a weird one. Twice in the same direction. This is going to go on the paper with a small part and this is the pull curtain thing. And then I added the foil and i'm just gonna have it on here like this and when i put it in my sandwich i will have a paper 
cover up this too so the excess foil will not grow on my plate and i always have to use oh maybe this time it works okay and then i put it through there always scared of that part so put it through my machine i went to and fro this is a cool button it turns the direction and look at that the impression made is amazing absolutely stunning and you see on the outside that that would have ended up on my plate so now it's on this spare paper oh yeah there we go and it's seamless so let's try this a very very um chaotic assembling <laughs> i have everything here and i have some borders i have cut them to the right length and so on but i'm gonna start with my back uh background i just had that colored paper i took the same paper for everything and i went a bit over the edge with some prize ribbon distress ink and then i made some splots splatters splatters and didn't let it dry properly and now i'm taking my side pieces and they're gonna they're gonna be seamless here and i need to pay attention that those are on the bottom part okay so this goes to the left and then it goes flush on the side and on top and down you will have a you will have this stitched line left over and then the other one i can just prop up but 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 up in the middle and that should work out so i am taking glue for this just putting it on here okay certain movements go fine with my hand and then certain don't um okay so pay attention to top and down I also want to have it kind of straight. Okay, that looks fine. And voila. There's a there, that's good. And then I put glue on the other side. Oops, I already took that out. That just made it sticky. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't stick together. Put glue on here. Um, wash it up make the snowflakes look nice so oops and then just push it down and i think i have to open it before it glue down a part i made sticky and those sides it would be lovely if those were nice too but i just can't bother with that right now also it, there was a lot of pressure with the with the hot foil stamp so you see that in here and there's the sticker that ripped off paper or the sticker this is not perfect, but um, I have to be fine with that. Then I have those wavy borders. They're all from Lawn Fawn. And I made a line before and tried to cut it out the right way. Still a bit too long. Okay, that's fine. So I cut off a bit more on this side. Also, I ink blended that a bit with tumbled glass distress ink. Well, oh, that's perfect. I just glue it down. I don't know if you see that. There's a pencil line. Maybe this helps a bit more. I don't know. So. Okay. And the other one would just be flush on the bottom. And also, like, this too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's tiny. It's tiny. There's an, oh, a good thing. That's why they go on the outside, my three penguins. So. Okay, let's close the glue. With that okay 
Um, also, this thing needs to have those things, so we need to fold those flaps. Yeah. It has a score line, and then, um, yeah, put them here. Okay, do that off camera. Okay, just put on score tape off camera. And now I have it on. Oh, this is actually a bathing command. And yeah, then I just fold it down and push it down. And do the same thing on the other side. Um, What's it called? Align it very nicely with the with my notch and also see if it's parallel. If I cut the window straight. So I cut the window myself, so might not be the best aiming thingy. Okay, now of this. So I I don't really know, I don't have a sentiment. And I don't know where I put my stuff. But I kind of have to put my things together first. Actually, I want to see if this is too high. This is not too high. So I can adhere my border here. So I guess about this one here. And then all of that part. Okay. I cut that out with a, with this die, and then I cut out the border. Um, it's actually a puffy cloud border, which I use a lot for snow because it's lovely snow. Okay, uh, those will be on here, in the front, on the outside, and then when it opens, and then you have this at first. And then it will open and then you will have an extended scene. They would fit back here too. But they wouldn't fit on a level which is in between. And I think I should put those in first before I think about where to put my lanterns. And other penguins. And then later on I will figure out a sentiment. But now I don't know which way I want to do it. But I guess I'll start with my border things. I have to bend those down. And now there's a cap. Hi, Mousy. Uh, this is now Mutsina, the other one. Uh, before there was Tzili. Gal, how is it, Tzili? And then. Here we go, I guess. And now I. Fiddle that in here. It's always hard to do that. Simple step, but hard to do. And then put those out again. So I'm back soon. Okay, so I got my borders in, and maybe I should just try out how it looks. So I'm gonna sleeve those, put those through those paper arms, maybe all the way. The problem with that die is that they fall out a lot. That's a bit annoying. So maybe the most simple steps are the hardest. Okay, and then I can pull it open. So this is how it works. Tuck. Tuck. Okay. And I would have that in the front. And I would have to see it from top. <laughs> I could have a... Oh, I could have those both start out here. See, and here I didn't stamp nice. I didn't use my stamping tool. I actually wanted to emboss them. And then I couldn't bother. But that might be nice. And then... If I saw how they... And then maybe... Maybe... One is here. Singing. Higher up. And one is back here. Playing the guitar. And then there could be just... Little kids running around in the background. So this is how I'm gonna adhere that. 
I just film it, but I'm not talking about it, so I can speed that up later. It's gonna be annoying. Let me just put in those at the edge. and then it expands to more singers and the guitar player and I nearly glued down this one <laughs> on this border in the front but you cannot put more than one on it because again when you close it you see how those go in and the one on the front border only has an inch to adhere and the one behind I think is two inches but I would try to let the, the, those are quite small critters you put there. So now I'm surprised I finished with that card. I still don't have a sentiment, but I might um, put a banner up there. It's just so hard to do stuff today, so I might not do that today. But I'm also not posting this video today, so to be continued. Yes, I, I have, I will start my videos with, or clips with so or okay. But that's just how it goes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I stamped it out with blue. And I have those uh, fancy banner things. And this fits. So I'm going to let it dry a bit. Didn't emboss it. I would like to emboss it. But it's too much right now. And then I cut that out. And I just put that on top there. So one should um, cut it out first. And then stamp it. Because it's very hard to get it straight. or yeah. <laughs> but I'll leave it like that. And I just put a little score tape, I think, a strip here, and that will hold. I did watch something about Global Fry today, <laughs> because it annoys me so much. And then I watch my clips, and I do a lot of Global Fry, <laughs> especially by the end of sentences. Now, there was another one. Sometimes it's also just my voice breaking. But I try not to. Now talk higher. So, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Ta da! Ah, oh, yeah, and I need some. I need some stickles. And then I need to clean up because it's very annoying. I cannot stand the mess. Even though there's messier tables around, I'm very aware of that. But when you're mentally not well, then uh, a little mess can already be very annoying. I just put stickles on here. With my left because <laughs> that is something I should not do with my right also not going on the table either and then I need to rest for the rest of the day but it's already 10 past four if I would hurry I could still get that out today but I'm certainly not gonna do that hey boy and uh, also need to go on a card base but for now so I already put my scraps in my scrap drawer I got that score tape over here. Goes back in this drawer. Inky stuff is away. This I'll leave out a bit. This is my hot foil uh, stamp suitcase thingy. This is now gonna stay out too for the brother scanning cut. Then I have some washi tape, which is just over here, and the Thingy, and this all fell before here. I got the stickles. So go back. Uh -huh. This is annoying. This is not optimal. Not to 
tobacco, a vapor, and a blue light. <laughs> no, not blue light. LED light. Wow! That was lucky. Here go my things, uh, speckle things. Normally I have those on the table, and since I had guests, I don't have that on my table anymore. But I should still do that. Then the machine switch off. Then this one goes back on my thingy. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't wait for the ink to dry and now it's on here. Okay, I'm going to be happy about that later on. This is scraps that go in the garbage. Now what is over here? Those are the plates from this machine. They'll stay out of it, but I'm going to take those plates and put them back down here. Do you see anything? I yeah, just oh. stuffed them there and it was a bit annoying. Uh, then I have my hot foil machine, which is switched off. I just added the plug system. I cannot do that with my hand. Then those are the piles of pieces. Now, see, this could be scraps because there's enough space here, but I'm throwing it out. But this is still going to be scraps. That here, this is the stuff they use for my card bases. Stamping blocks. And I basically, I do a lot after every step because uh, it's so often. We call it the worm is drin. There's the worm in it when it just doesn't go well. And it's not just that my body hurts and my brain doesn't work. It's also that it feels like some things are in the way. Like you want to move your hand, but it just doesn't move because it feels like there's a resistance there. So, and I hate that. Uh, so when something is in the way or you want to get to that and you just can't get it. That was just pretend now, but yeah. Uh, those are my stamping cards. They go in here. Over there. What else? And it helps when everything has a spot. Phone, I filmed with this again, which was fine. Cannot lift that. Scissors, I'm just taking you along to <laughs> cleaning up and you might get sick. But that's what one needs to do. I'll still leave that out. Here I have a little thingy. I put some stuffs so when I cut things out. It's over here. And the glue too. There. I used to sit here so I could reach all that stuff. Which is not the case anymore. And then more washi tape. A gel pen. And those are my pens. See, that's why I used to have a pencil case on here. Which I might take over here again. Yeah, so, and the water spritzer. And this is the basics that needs to get somewhere. And here I need both hands. Okay, got it in the sleeve, and then it goes here to the, the borders and things. I have interactive dies. Decorative dies like strawberry and things, and, and cover plates, um, background plates, decorative things. And here is borders and stackables and slimline. And the rest, I need to organize it again, and haven't done that in a while. And here's my old book <laughs> Mensch Körper Krankheit, Human Body Sickness. I think it's um, from the last thing I had. Ah, from the Psychometry City School. Had to learn a lot of that stuff. Okay, uh, I'm not getting that out today. I really need to take a shower. But I'm going to finish this video. So I thank you very much for watching this very chaotic video. And I hope to see you in the next one.